Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Five of Cups is still came out. Someone wanted someone. There's a person out there that wants a divine feminine to be very, very disappointed. They want someone to be disappointed because a divine feminine most likely has made a decision to move in a direction away from a person, place, thing, a group, a job, or something. Or someone wants, somebody is trying to make sure that a divine feminine stops moving forward. Because you have an Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, the Temperance. Someone here is going towards their destiny, their path as an earth angel. Going towards just, like I said, having peace, balance, harmony. Um, somebody is trying to throw off the energy of a person. This has a lot to do with something with alchemy. Yeah, judgment. The three of pentacles. Three of pentacles and the judgment. Nine of wands. I'll tell you what, whatever this is, it didn't, it didn't happen. This could have been some type of ritual that someone was doing. The trumpet was blown, nine of wands. Someone is now most likely paranoid. They're afraid because I feel here you have an official person. This could be like, to me, King of Swords, Archangel Michael. There's an avenging angel that has rushed in to make sure that something didn't happen. Somebody thought that a situation that they were planning, it was hidden. It wasn't. This could be a man or woman. Or this could be a couple doing this. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Somebody here, they took a risk to do something. You have the nine of swords, the ten of, ten of wands. This is nothing but a bunch of stress and anxiety. Whoever did what this was, they thought that they were going to do this um, in hopes of gaining some type of money. These people were trying to secure some type of abundance. And they were hoping that this abundance would come in most likely here in Leo season, Virgo season, the hermit. A Leo or a Virgo could be um, very significant. Someone who has Leo, Virgo, Cancer in their chart is very significant. This is some type of cult, coven or whatever. The, I'm, I'm hearing it's a witch's brew. This this is a cult, a coven, secret society, or whatever. However, someone has a person that's in their energy watching them. And I feel strong. This is like some type of um, divine being who is a spiritual judge and a spiritual assassin. Archangel Michael, the sword of truth. Somebody has come to the beck and call of this divine feminine. I've, I've been feeling so off the last few hours. Like I said, my temperature is going up and down, up and down. Heavy emphasis, though, on some type of fire magic, something here related to an emergency situation, fire. There's a hazard here, okay? And someone is, you know, you know we're in Leo season. It's the lion. It's that beast energy. It's fire. It's um that sun energy. Someone here wants to burn through something okay the ten of wands some somebody is carrying some type of burden they're stressed out they're full of anxiety okay they're feeling very disappointed okay or someone is going to be very disappointed soon that something didn't work this could be a masculine and a feminine who came together to do to try to work against a divine feminine whatever the the karmic feminine here was doing they were already afraid that this may not work. And if they were hired by a masculine or helping this masculine, they're all about to be very disappointed. Somebody wanted this divine feminine on their hands, on their knees, disappointed by a situation because there was definitely some type of ritual done working against this person. These people have been hiding and cloaking themselves. OK, it could be someone in the family or this could be a family of people doing this. Virgo is here. There's a Virgo. There's a Leo here the moon okay so somebody here is operating out of their shadow self but what they're doing with this moon in the reverse it's not hidden it is not hidden what these people have done okay it will for sure be exposed this is some kind of ritual in the number five is here this is some type of ritual some type of sacrifice or something that was done these people have worked on doing this for quite some time but again judgment is here the nine of wands. I feel like this is also you too. Like you're defending yourself spiritually. You're protected, but it's like you may feel 
like something is is there, there's an energy here it's off-putting the knight of pentacles here with the devil <laughs> the emperor Wow, Eight of Pentacles and the Tower. So there is, for some, there's some type of karmic masculine out here. Someone made a deal with the devil. They they made, all of these readings are going together. I don't know what this is in the collective energy, but there's obviously some type of like um, mass ritual that's happening behind the scenes with these different secret societies or, or whatever this is because these these messages are coming out every single day it's like one running story it's very strange it's every single day it's like the same thing it's bits and pieces of the same story somebody made an offer okay for for money for cars clothes wealth abundance somebody they they made a deal with the devil Okay, so that they could be the emperor. So for someone to have an upgrade, they made a deal with the devil. They sold their soul. Somebody here, yeah, they worked very hard to create a tower, most likely for this divine feminine, because divine feminine possibly is opening their heart to new love or has a new offer coming in. Wow. This is just someone here who is um, pretty much like very, like, hell been on making sure that somebody does not move on but they've strength leo energy here this is someone this may be you though finding the strength and the courage to really stand up for yourself to end this situation it's like hats off to you because something here it has to be shut down for some of you this is someone that you were in a relationship with for sure in a past life or in your past this person is is connected to you there's a past life connection here that i feel is being severed a cord to this person is being severed and this person whoever this past lover or past life lover is okay this person is tied into some type of group that does like really really awful things for money the hierophant is here and behind the hierophant is the death card so somebody here is using some type of spiritual religion, some type of doctrine, some type of belief, okay? Um, this could be someone in the occult. They do binding magic, death magic, for them to have a come up. This is someone that you walked away from. You walked away from a partnership with this person, and they are very upset about it to the point that now it seems like this person has decided to offer you up to something very dark very wicked um yeah out of anger ace of wands it's something here about fire fire magic somebody could have wanted you to be affected somehow by fire it's like the burning flame yeah burning flames here high priestess the three of swords. High priestess, three of swords. Ace of cups, eight of wands. Somebody is upset that your intuition or your beliefs your wisdom is allowing you three of swords ace of cups it's allowing you to heal it's allowing you to heal and move forward with more self-love you're quickly moving away from something or someone you could be traveling or even relocating and what's coming in is indeed it's an offer you have an offer so it's like you're, you're completely out of a situation or a cycle here and someone is upset about whatever type of spiritual ascension or awakening or upgrade you've had. Somebody is upset that you have healed your heart enough to the point where they can't come in and try to ruin you to the point now that this person has decided that they will go to the extremes to, it, it feels like, honestly, to get rid of you. Five of Pentacles. Somebody just does not want you to have peace. They want you. I just heard somebody wants you out of like they want you out of your body in your body where you have this sacredness, this this true 
essence, this this purity, they want you out of that. They want you kicked outside of anything where you can have peace, balance, and harmony. Somebody just wants you to forever be at the crossroads. They do not want you to go towards any type of wish fulfillment, any type of happiness, abundance. They, they're they like, no, you can't have it. The Queen of Cups. Somebody does not want you to have children. They don't want you to have family. They don't want your emotions to be balanced. They just don't want anything good for you. This is this is like giving me very much like a, a hate crime. And these people could possibly be trying to do something to you in your sleep state. I just saw the hangman. It's like someone is trying to trap your soul or have you just stuck and bound in a situation somehow so that you can't get out. But, but there is something here that is, uh, yeah. The two of wands with the seven of swords. Something here is very dark. That somebody sent out to you, but it, you were free. You, as above, so below. Somebody went in the spirit and did something. But see, your spiritual ranking and protection in the spirit, you're, you're free. You're sovereign and you're free. Therefore, here in the 3D, whatever these people do against you, you're still going to be sovereign and free. These attacks are not going to work against you. But whoever this... um person is here this water sign person could be cancer pisces scorpio they definitely have scorpio heavily aspected in their chart this person is constantly like rushing towards you this person wants to bomb rush you i don't know why i keep picking up all this energy though it like about um flames and fire this person wants to burn you at the stake this could have been something that happened in a past life where Somebody is saying pretty much like if you don't choose to follow them and whatever their path, lifestyle or beliefs are, then they're going to burn you at the stake. The reading yesterday or that I posted today, actually, some of you were like, you're like a natural born witch. Some people are offended by the term witch, but in a past life, maybe you were a witch, wizard or whatever. You have somebody that's in this lifetime now from a previous lifetime that is upset that maybe you're not choosing to be like a dark witch or a dark priest, priestess, because you won't go into um, partnership with them, whether it be romantic business or whatever, you won't use your gifts or anything dark. These people are now saying, well, fine, since you won't utilize your gifts for what we want you to use them for, then we will burn you at the stake. We will get rid of you. This is what this is, because right now, whoever you are, you having this healing, this peace of mind, this clarity, you're manifesting, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor, the will of fortune is here. You're resting, you're retreating, you're happy. Somebody doesn't like that. Somebody keeps on trying to locate you. They're trying to track you. They're trying to locate you. Because they see that you're happy. Seven of Wands. And you're standing your ground. You're not you're not giving into whatever this situation is that somebody keeps trying to tempt you into. You're not giving into it. So someone here came up with a bright idea. Okay, I fine. For for their own stability, for them to have a twin flame union, your power, your stability, your security, they'll just sacrifice you. Ten of Cups. Wow. This could be someone's family or this could be a family doing this to you. Somebody that you thought you would have a family with. Some of you, though, you are manifesting wish fulfillment and having your own family. The King of Pentacles is here. This could be a King of Pentacles who already has a family. This could be a king of pentacles, a queen of wands. This could be a man, a woman, who, and they have a child together. They could have sacrificed you for their own financial gains for them to celebrate. They put you up as a sacrifice. It's like because you won't. Yeah, there's no confusion here, though. Seven of Cups. This is clear. What these people did is very clear. This is a spiritual attack. It's happening in real time. Page of Cups. Seven of Cups. Page of Cups. All in all, there will be Eight of Cups. It's like you're moving away from this because there's an offer here that came with a lot of confusion. Therefore, you walked away from it. What did I just say? There's an offer here. Someone was creative and trying to create an illusion and a bunch of confusion in hopes that you would take the bait so that they could have you entrapped. Like somebody wanted to walk you into the lion's den for some type of sacrifice, but justice is being served. It's not going to go that way. 
it didn't go their way. These people literally tried to attack someone um, today, right now, I feel. This is happening in real time. Queen of Pentacles here. This could be that Virgo energy that I'm picking up on. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This is this is a, a group effort. You have like a, a man and two women here for sure. This could be a mother and daughter with a masculine. They keep trying to sacrifice a divine feminine um, so that their family... Look, I just said 10 of... I was looking at the four of wands, so that's like a family. But so that their family can have happiness and wish fulfillment, victory and success... <laughs> they thought that it it made the most sense ace of swords for them to sacrifice you but see this is your blessing this is your breakthrough here you're gonna have a victory where you have success wish fulfillment family union and everything else these people came in and they tried to steal this from you somebody I, i'm for sure it's something here with either making you sick or something with the fire the three of wands what what can they expect this plan it backfired and there could be at least three people yeah and that's karmic justice this backfired so now that this backfired what does that mean see these people saw something really good coming in for you and they decided that they were going to set you up to be hurt th th this is for sure somebody wanted you hurt harmed ill sick burned up blown up like that that's what they they wanted this was some type of freak accident that was supposed to happen Oh, it was, it was very much premeditated and planned. You were supposed to be left, stuck. I just heard unable to breathe. It's got everything to do with your light and the fact that you have an offer coming from another divine being. Somebody is just, yeah. And they're doing this as someone who can see clearly behind the veil, a high priestess. I'm telling you, somebody wants to burn you at the stake because perhaps you're a high priestess or a high priest. You have some type of gift or favor. Yeah, this here is out of control. Whatever these people did, it got out of control. And Archangel Michael came right in and was like, so what? What, what, what are you doing yet again? You're doing this again to someone who is completely tempered and balanced? You're doing this again. How foolish. <laughs> King of Wands. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they keep they keep trying this and they, it's like they're constantly being struck with bad luck. Every time they rush in to do this, they're being caught. They're being <laughs> burned. And it, it, wow. I have three kings out here. You have two nice three kings. We keep saying the five of swords. This could be like a group of men. For some of you. Or this is a, a shapeshifter. Take it how it, how it resonates. Archangel Michael is out here and is able to see this. Or you have a very powerful like protector that's watching you. But this king of swords is out here. You have this king of wands. This knight of swords. King. Of, these are This is five different masculines here. And you have a knight of pentacles. Somebody is coming in with some information or an offer to help you end a cycle completely so that you're able to, look, move forward towards wish fulfillment, happiness, marriage. And you have a counterfeit person that's in the background and they're like, no. So for a lot of you, this is like a counterfeit of yours that's in the background. They keep spiritually attacking you because they can see the real person. You see how we have these two different hierophants? One is actually of the light and one is a liar. They're fake. They're phony. One person is trying to get you out of darkness and take you on a peaceful, calm waters. The other person is spiritually attacking you. So you have a person that's coming in. They could have Taurus in their chart. You could have two different people and they both could have Taurus heavily aspected in their chart. Taurus, Leo, and Cancer are all very um, significant. But somebody is coming towards you with an offer. And what they're doing is they're trying to ensure that you get out of wherever this dark hole is. This occultist or whomever, this illusionist, master magician, whatever. Um, this person keeps sending something out to attack you. But see, whatever they're sending out to attack you, it, it becomes... Um, whatever, this, whatever they're sending out to attack you is just not working. And I said that in the reading earlier. It's like you you literally have angels and demons who are rooting for you. You have an alliance with things that are light and dark. 
because some of you, like I said, you're a witch or a high priestess. Um, you may not be practicing, but your soul can remember you being some type of high priestess or a witch or whatever. Therefore, you are or your family has witches, wizards, warlocks, shamans in your bloodline. So there's alliances already formed with different people in your bloodline, in your, your lineage, lineage, your ancestry. So when a person attacks you with certain things because of what's in your blood, it's not going to work. Or for some of you, you are in union with someone um, because of their blood and their, their covering and protection over you. This doesn't work. Somebody doesn't understand something about blood. And that's also the reason why a lot of people don't want certain people to come into unions, honestly. Because once you are in that covenant, of their spiritual marriage or contract with someone, whatever is protecting them is going to protect you. Whoever these this counterfeit person is, it's something about them that is very similar to the person that you're supposed to be with. So what they do to you, it would affect you because it's like you're not from the same, you don't you're you're not the exact same background as someone. But the part, but there's someone, there's someone from the same planet, timeline, realm, dimension as this person that is working against you, that's actually protecting you. So let's say in, in plain terms, the 3D earthly things, you have a person, you're a regular civilian. Well, there's someone out here who is a dirty cop that's attacking you. But you have someone that is a Marine turned cop now who's protecting you. So somebody knows that this person is dirty or this is someone who, you know, they're they're into spell work, witchcraft. But you have a person like here, you have these two different hierophants. You have one person here that's like a priest and you have another person here who is an occultist. A master occultist. They're, they're all about dark wickedness while this other person here relies heavily on God. So both of these people that they're they're leading something in their life, but one is is clearly protecting you because they know that you're being attacked by this other person. For some of you this is a divine masculine or you have a passed on loved one, an angel, an ancestor, a spirit guide, an ascended master. They Although you may not be in the same thing that this person is that's attacking you or you have no involvement in it, you're not a part of this kingdom of darkness, there's some type of alliance, there's a, a bloodline, something with blood, DNA, there's just some type of protection here that I, I'm seeing it, but it's hard for me to explain. Temperance, dang, I just said it. You have an angel. You have an angel, just period. There's an angel. I don't care where this angel is in the world, what they're doing, how it's happening. When the smoke goes up, they're going to shut this shit down every time. And that's just what it is. And whoever this person is, they keep trying to figure out why is this happening. It's because of the protection that you have. You're a divine feminine. You're a divine feminine to someone who most likely is very, very powerful. Every single time this person sends this attack out to you, it's going to be shot down. I don't understand why this person won't give this up. I don't. Every single time something comes at you, I don't care who this person is in your energy. This could be a past on loved one. It could be someone that you know right now. You may not know this person. I don't know. It does not matter where this energy is. They can try to take down your protect because I'm seeing I'm getting that too. Somebody here is trying to actually break down your protection. They're trying to take protection away from you, your finances, your home or whatever. There is some type of protector here, an some type of angelic protection. It does not matter. It can't be tampered with. So you see how this knight is here with this cup they're drinking, but they're they're turned backwards. 
I'm hearing where somebody's like, I could do this with my eyes closed. There's somebody protecting you that can annihilate any person that comes towards you with their eyes closed. And in fact, it may actually be you. I think that some of you, honestly, this reading is really pissing me off. Some of you, honestly, you know how like a person is really quiet and one day they get into a fight and they like beat the hell out of somebody with they had their eyes closed the whole time. That's what I'm getting here. For some of you, you don't really know how powerful you actually are. But it's like you're beating people down down in the spirit and you don't even know where it's coming from some of you are doing things in the spirit room you're astral traveling project all kinds of stuff you wake up and think that like nothing has happened you just went to sleep but in actuality you just tore everything up in the spirit realm that's what this is some of you you just don't know you don't know what you're doing in the spirit realm because i don't know you you your spiritual eyes, you don't quite see all of that. But somebody here, it's like you're um you're so powerful. Or the part or, or if you're a divine feminine, your masculine is so powerful. They're so high ranking in the spirit that every single time people come after you, I, you know what I'm hearing right now? What's this song? Is it Kalani? When you see them, know this all me. When you see them, know this all me. When they see you, somebody, it's like a masculine saying, when you see her, know that that's all me. Play with her if you want to. Like somebody is not playing about, whoever, whoever this message is for, somebody is not playing about you. This person is like some type of earth angel, galactic being. They work closely with Archangel Michael, God, like somebody is saying listen when you see that divine feminine you attack that divine no that's that's all me out there see your energy is is being covered and protected by someone and then it's it's god too honestly it's god it's like god is like that's one of mine that that's that's my child like what are you doing you can't be touched by these people and they really don't understand somebody just keeps coming like the song i'm literally hearing when you when you see when you see him or when you see them, know it's all me. Somebody keeps trying to get a closer look. They're like, so who is this person? And this masculine energy is like, well, you need to know that that's me. And you know for a sure fact you can't come up against me. They can't. Nobody can do anything with this, this emperor here. Nobody. And they keep on drinking the stupid juice. They keep on making these offerings. Look, empress, the tower, temperance. <sighs> Hello? Scorpio energy with the tower. Something here is over. It's like this divine feminine and this earth angel. They're like destroying things in the in the physical in the spirit in the spirit realm and in the physical. You're seeing this stuff happen. Some of you, like I said, you don't know what you're doing in the spirit realm. You haven't tapped into that yet. But you're gonna see these things start to make a lot of sense in the physical, in the 3D, because people now are really trying to fix everything they broke in. It can't be. There is some type of foundation, a structure, a group, a secrecy, or whatever. You've torn that down in the spirit. It's torn down. And it's only a matter of time before you really get to sit down and rest. But I just keep hearing when you see or know this all me. Somebody's like, I don't know who you thought you were putting your hands on this divine feminine, but it's not going down like that. Or there's a divine feminine saying this about a masculine, however it resonates. But it's it, it's somebody here. It's it's a team. You can see this though. So, I can see this so many. It's like some of you. It's a it's a counterpart you have protecting you. It's a a, a pass on loved one, an ancestor, spirit guy, archangel Michael. It can be God. Some of you. It's it's a whole spiritual team. And they're like, as soon as this feminine calls on justice against you, it's up and it's stuck for you. <laughs> Justice and, and the freaking judgment, Carl. What did I just say? It's up. It's stuck. That, that's it. It's Some of y'all don't know like who you really are in the spirit realm. Because I'm telling you, as soon as you cry, as soon as you yell, as soon as you cry out to God, it's over for these people. Everything gets shut down and you walk out. You can light a match and walk out. There is nothing left. It's all, it's up in flames. It's gone. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. It's over. It's done. And if you're not using your power, you better start using it. Because I'm telling you, it's like literally 
everybody in heaven and hell is like, all you have to do is say a word. Say a word. Say, t tell me who did it. And watch them quickly fall from grace. I don't know who this Virgo is or this person with Virgo in their chart, but whatever they thought they were doing in the dark to try to put an end to this um, divine feminine, definitely somebody with earth in their chart. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, whatever this person was doing, they should have held back. Somebody here keeps on looking, watching, and spying on this new beginning that you have most likely with an emperor. But somebody here keeps looking at you as an opportunity for a new beginning because they want to be an emperor. They want to be your emperor. But your actual emperor is just like, who the like, who do you think you are when you see her know that that's all me? That's that's my baby girl. That's my grandbaby. Who do you think you are? What, what do you what did you think you was going to come and take my spot? No, <laughs> no. This king of cups wants to be an emperor. Whoever this king of cups is that keeps playing these mind games and all of these emotions, this person wants to be an emperor. And the only way that they can be an emperor is if they get this divine feminine. So this person now is making every kind of deal with the devil that they possibly can to do it. Not realizing that none of their offers are being accepted. <laughs> the offer of this true divine masculine will be will trump anything that this false masculine ever does. Queen of Wands. Somebody is like, what? That person is still, yeah, divine feminine is still healthy, happy, at peace, tending to their own garden. Nothing is nothing is switching, nothing is changing. And whoever the masculine is, they already know the strength. Somebody knows the strength that this feminine has to call judgment on a situation. And this masculine is like, use your power. Some of you, I'm telling somebody in your life is somebody that protects you in the spirit. They're like, just, just use your power because you have it. It's sitting right there in your lap. Just, just say the word. Just say the word. Where, where do we need to go? I could, these people that keep doing this spell work and they're going to the crossroads, they've already sold their soul. Somebody here has lost their soul. They sold their soul willingly and they asked for you to be trapped. They asked for you to be hurt. They asked for what for something really bad to happen so that you could not go into some type of relationship, partnership or divine contract. Man, when I tell you <laughs> channel message. What I just say, some I, I did not see these cards. Somebody does not want you to go on this contract where you're able to see clearly. It's something about your contract, your divine contract, and you have a contract with a lover as well. Your lover could be a seer just like you, and the two of you most likely will have a very gifted child. This is some type of entity. It's a principality that's working against you, trying to create an illusion so that you don't know who you actually are. All of these stories are running together. It's just like I said in the reading that was posted a few hours ago. The same gifts that people have tried to hide from you and create illusions are the gifts now that you are untapping and you're utilizing them to destroy all of your enemies. And these karmic contracts, you're freeing bloodlines from this. There are entities and principalities that are signed in families and bloodlines. You guys are finally uncovering and, un and tapping into gifts, talents, and abilities that you have because you have been a high priestess in a past life. And I don't know, maybe in a past life you were willing to do something dark and shady. These people want you to do something crazy now in this lifetime, but you're a being of love and light. You're just here to spread love and light. And somebody is like, no, you're supposed to be wicked. It seems like in a past life, you were in a contract with somebody who was dark and wicked. They come back this lifetime and they still want to be dark and wicked, but they also want you to be in a contract with them. This person is like, take my offer. Join the occult with me. Go out and ruin people's lives with me. And you're like, no, I can see. But what I see behind the veil is for me to spread love and light. They don't like that. So until it's like this person saying, until you do what I say, I'm going to make your life a living hell. I'm going to attack you and antagonize you constantly. Until you decide that pretty much I rule and I run you. <laughs> Come on now. Come on.
not 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 on this new masculine's watch that carries the same sword of truth as Archangel Michael, not on this new contract. Sacrifice who? When you when you see them know that's all me. Sacrifice who? Sacrifice what? Huh? Come come again? Archangel Michael, come again? It's the contract here. <laughs> it trumps this contract. These people here are not together. These two people are together. This is somebody brand new. Archangel Michael said, oh no, these two people have to be together. Because there are certain things that they have to produce. The, th this is a royal bloodline that must start another bloodline. The last of a, a dying breed has come together to create a new generation. So those who create illusions and confusion because they, they want to come together with the divine being. But don't have the rights. They shall be sacrificed. They shall be sacrificed. You keep trying to get in the way of these divine contracts and divine unions. Because people now they just realize that they're going to be left where they where they stand. Look at that. Justice, will of fortune. But it's in the reverse. Nail in the coffin. You're not moving forward with this person. And they can't handle it. This person doesn't want you. This person wants your fortune. In fact, this person is trying to manifest your gifts and your fortune so that they can give it to their own karmic family. This person wants your wealth, your abundance, your spiritual gifts, talents, abilities. They want your whole, they want everything so that they can give it to whoever they chose over you that's willing to stay in the darkness with them. This is someone that's running around here saying, oh, if I could just be in more than one place at one time. If I could be with somebody like me, but they had divine feminine energy, this person is so greedy. They they're tr trying very hard to have the both of best the the um the best of both worlds. They want to be a, they want to be with the karmic who allows them to do shady stuff. This cold hearted bitter person that is ready to invest in whatever this person wants them to do, but they want the energy and the essence of divine feminine to unlock blessings that they don't have access to. This divine feminine is a natural born healer, very mothering, nurturing, devoted. That's nothing like this person that they chose. And whoever this is that keeps coming in hot and cold, really, really fast, trying to do all this. This person is going to face an, an ending death. <sighs> Could be a fire sign or somebody who has Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, highly aspected in their chart. This person is hiding something. This is a queen. This is a couple. Look at that. King of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. <laughs> queen of Wands. The moon and the death. These people do a lot of stuff in the dark, in the shadows, at night, around the moon cycles. They keep doing this. The chariot here is pretty much it's not moving. You can see whatever entity, whatever they're using, it's tired. It's not moving. This magic is not working. So now what do they do? <laughs> this isn't working. This is the same king. I keep saying fire. King and queen of wands. These people both have fire in their chart. Fire. I'm getting a Leo for a feminine, Aries for a masculine. This masculine has Aries and Scorpio heavily aspected in their chart. They also, this, this masculine has Aries, Scorpio, Pisces somewhere in their chart. This feminine that they deal with, they have Leo, Virgo, Cancer in their chart. I see these people very clearly in these readings. Because it's the same energy that comes up every other day. These people, they, they won't, they can't do certain things to you in the physical, but I'll tell you, they, they constantly do work in the spirit to try to hurt and harm someone to get you off of your pathway. Like they, they're doing this nonstop. I, all I hear in my head is when you see, when you, when you see them know this all me. 
And this is somebody who feels like you belong to them, but you have someone that you do actually belong to. <laughs> That's the crazy part. <laughs> God has put you in a contract with a person that is your God ordained spouse. And this fool is still thinking like, no, you belong to me. While they're at home with somebody else and they're both doing magic on you. Like, make it make sense. Oh, my goodness. Family. This is a family doing this. Thoughts. This family keeps on thinking about this divine feminine. They see this divine feminine as a problem. And they want this person gone. This family sees divine feminine as, as a problem. And they want this divine feminine in a coffin. Just period. I know it sucks, but it's the truth. Wealthy man, high honor, concerned. And you have this wealthy man here, this person of high honor. They're very concerned about this situation. I feel like this is a divine masculine here. That sends someone's energy. This person is concerned because they can tell that this divine feminine is expecting some type of judgment. This person knows that divine feminine is afraid that someone is going to steal something from them. This, there's a divine feminine out here who is is feeling betrayed and a bit afraid that they're going to something is not something is not going to be ruled in their favor there's a divine feminine out here that's going through hell and you're afraid that you're going to receive a message of concern that something has been stolen from you there is a person here of high honor wealthy wealthy meaning they're high ranking in spirit i don't know how much money this person has or doesn't have but somebody knows that you are, this person is concerned about your well-being when it comes to this family constantly trying to sacrifice you. And they keep saying, when you see that divine feminine, know that's all me. Yeah, community here, privileged lady, marriage. This is a, this could be someone's mother. There's someone out here who has a contract to some type of secret society and they want to remain privileged. So for them to remain privileged, they keep attacking this divine feminine. Once again, these readings keep on taking a turn. It, I'm seeing what's going on with divine feminine and I'm seeing what's going on with divine masculine. Somebody here is putting all their work into trying to sacrifice a twin flame union. This karmic couple is always on the heels of this divine feminine. But you have this family that keeps trying to sacrifice this divine masculine. Somebody is trying their hardest to make a divine masculine marry them. Because this person wants to be a part of some kind of secret society, high society, um, elite or whatever. This masculine is wealthy or, or they're supposed to be wealthy. So you have someone here who wants to be privileged or they're, they're being seen as privileged. But what they don't have is the marriage to this person or someone feels that if they get into a marriage or a commitment with a particular person based on their spiritual ranking, that it's going to somehow help their finances or help their bloodline this is yeah and it's not it's not going that way it's just not there's a change here like i said it's it's not going to play out the way these people think because these people are false they're liars august 7th through august 9th could be significant <sighs> oh my goodness toil and labor Somebody is working so hard on gaining great fortune, but somebody has the grain. They, they have to be in a courtship with a divine being for them to gain great fortune. Without somebody being in this karmic contract with this divine being of high honor, they're locked out of their pathway, meaning they can't get any money. They can't get any type of victory, success, rewards, recognition, or anything. That's why these people are trying to hold on to these divine beings for dear life a divine feminine is out here you have a married person that's trying to hold on to your energy because they want to manifest wealth for their entire family there's a divine masculine out here who has a family that's trying to force this man to marry someone in this family or to work with them so that they can have access to whatever fortune that this person is coming into in the future most likely these are a bunch of dark reptilians right now who already know that they're about to have a fall from grace and just like a vampire they're trying to get a hold of somebody that they can use as as a source of blood blood sacrifices they already know <laughs> 
that eventually when they have this fall from grace, they're like, well, who exactly? It's like they know there's going to be a shortage of blood. So they're like, so who exactly can we start to suck off of right now? They've already lost their favorite uh, source of supply. So they're now trying to do everything to get you to come back. And this is sick. It really is sick. Because now they're willing to do whatever it takes. Ten of swords. They're willing to, to hurt you, to harm you in, in an effort to sacrifice you. These people, they don't care about you. No, they, they don't care about you. They want you to bring these people. What it really amounts to, they want you to bring them money. They want your energy to bring in wealth for them. The same thing that's happening to a divine feminine is happening to a divine masculine. These two people are somehow connected and in spirit. They, they're either they're watching and protecting each other or the, the angels and the spirit guides and the ascended masters are making sure that these two people somehow will, will meet because they have some kind of divine purpose together. But protect yourself because somebody is really working hard right now to try to gain access or control to your energy. They need this for some type of ritual. See, what it is, is they're doing rituals right now so that by the time this landscape portal comes up, they're able to steal whatever blessings you have. If they're, ha they're, having, they're having too many issues right now with trying to tap into your energy. So that's letting them know it's gonna be almost impossible for them to steal something from you because the, the pathways, the portals, and the gates are closed. Idea. These people now are trying to get evidence. I don't know what, what they're trying to get evidence on. If it's evidence on you or if they're being investigated. They want to get proof. Sweet dreams. They want to get, it's like they want to get proof of who you are. How, how are you doing this? These people know it's something about you and your blood. And they're, they're seeing through these attacks that things are not working. So they're like, well, there must be proof that this person. Is, is truly some type of supernatural being. You have adventure and profession. Somebody is traveling. This is like a traveling warlock or something. Somebody out here is extremely skilled at astral travel and astral projection. But you have sweet dream here. I'm telling you, it's somebody out here who is like very skilled. You're doing something in your dream state, in your sleep, and you don't recognize that you're doing it. I feel like somebody literally when you go to sleep. There's no telling where where you're you're going out in, in the spirit and the things that you're doing. I feel like you're going out in spirit and you're just like tearing everything up, destroying people. And you just wake up and go to work, <laughs> live your life and you have no idea. This is card one and zero, zero and one. There's a new beginning. Also, one and zero being ten. Something here is over. You're about to go into a season where you really are going to be very comfortable because for one, you with the profession card here, you've ascended to expert level of something. And adventure travel. Also, too, this is someone, like I said, who goal, someone has a goal to become as skilled as you are. This is something about a, a spiritual gift that you have. Yeah. Someone has a goal to destroy your contract. And they're willing to pay professionals. They'll travel. They don't care. Their whole purpose is to destroy your contract. Like I said, it's a lot of different stuff that I'm picking up here. But for a lot of you, the main situation here is somebody is extremely determined to take from you your divine contract. Yeah, conflict. This is this is a battle and there's two masculines here. Somebody does not want you to go towards a new contract here with someone that's going to care for you and offer you love, patience, kindness, 
a helpful aid protect you. Somebody does not want that. They don't. Yeah, they're trying to look. Somebody wants you to have some kind of natural disaster. They don't want you to hear anything good. Nothing that with you being a sweetheart or being able to give birth to this person's trying to control everything. Everything in your life. Some of you need to be careful too because somebody could be sending some type of frequencies to you. They're, they're sending some type of energy to you possibly when you're asleep. This is to cause some type of natural disaster because this part you're very pure. And they don't want you to have anything pure in life. So they're trying to dictate and control everything that you do. Wow. Loneliness. Yeah. This person just dreams of you being alone. So that they can control you. They this person is sick. Somebody here just like they, they they're they're in this illusion. Or they want you to be in some type of illusion where you're forever alone. You don't hear about anything good. You will never this person is trying to lock you out of your own life purpose and dreams. And I feel like you're challenged, you're being challenged, but you're gonna persevere. But This, this this already happened in a past life. Persevere in memory here. Somebody is trying to have you completely overwhelmed so that you will fail and you will be poor and just like a castaway. You will just be gone and forgotten. And they can they can live their life as you. Like this person is ready to take over your life so that they can receive your good news. Because of the, the contract that you already signed. I don't know what these people are doing with this destiny swapping. But I'm telling you, they are doing everything. They're sending all of these entities out to try to trap you. To have you frightened because they want you to lose your mind. So that they can attack you and have you stuck, hurt, harmed. And somehow it's like when your soul leaves your body, they're just going to snatch it. That's that's the goal. It's, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. No, because you're a person of high honor. And no matter what, this divine contract that you have for some of you, especially if you, you know, resonate with the twin flame, you will be in this contract. You have marriage, high honor, courtship, lovers. You've already, a, a lover has been chosen for you, your God ordained spouse. You will have a courtship with this person who is of high honor and it will lead to marriage. It does not matter how hard your enemy works on this. And yes, they're paying top dollar. These false people, they're paying top dollar to change your contract. And it's not going to work. They're waiting to receive a message that you and someone are not coming together. That they've somehow ruined or sabotaged a connection. That's not what's going to happen. Like literally, they're just waiting. Somebody is waiting here. They're trying to cause natural disasters for you and another person. Conflict and chaos. For a lot of you, it's like for them to be attacking you this way, you have to know this person or be connected to them already. Or they're looking into your future and they're they're seeing that this is what's coming towards you. Something is coming towards you rapidly, fast movement. So they're trying to create arguments and situations so that you don't understand how to move forward. This is this is a bunch of trickery. That's all it is. Longing. Someone is missing you. They want this connection. <laughs> wow. But you're going to be in a union with someone. Some of you, you could be feeling like there's a separation. Or like you're being left out in the cold by someone. This is due to spell work. Somebody is doing spell work so, th so that a person will leave you out in the cold. The truth is, this person is, is making plans for them to go into a union with you. Because God has already told somebody who you are to them. 
Like it, I keep when you see them know that's all me. You already know who your person is, or your person knows who you are. It does not matter how many times people try to use spell work so that you and this person feel like you're left out in the cold for one another. It's not going to work. And let me say this to some of you that's listening to this because I know your ears are puckering up and you're thinking, "Oh my goodness, this person that's been abandoning me for a decade is coming back." No, for a lot of you, this is somebody brand new that you recently met. Uh, definitely somebody that has not hurt you or this is someone that you don't know it's not this karmic toxic uh dark warlock or witch that you've been going through hell with so please don't get excited too quick because i'm not promoting that you go back to somebody that has been trying to sacrifice you because trust me if you let this person back they'll act like they never did it Somebody wants to be very romantic with somebody who truly loves you. The type of person that you attract because you love yourself completely. This person is coming into your, your life unexpectedly or you met them and it wasn't planned. It was very unexpected. This was your cosmic gift from the divine. Life partner. Yeah, this person is in your energy. They're protecting you. You just need to be aware of the toxicity, the negative energy that's coming from this, this narcissist that refuses to say anything. This person is holding back right now and trying to use your energy to, to gain something for their own family. Practice forgiveness and pay attention to your dreams. Please make sure that you're not engaging in anything lustful in your dreams. Okay, because this person's trying to block you from having a fresh start. Yeah, you're having a spiritual awakening. Yeah, and you're realizing there's an earth sign here. Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person is a green-eyed monster. They're extremely jealous. They ran away from this connection. Okay, because they wanted to work on finances. They wanted to build wealth. And they wanted to be seen as someone who had a lot to say. Who was respected. So here they are now. They're sending you telepathic communications, trying to get you to let your guard down so that they can sacrifice you once again because they're coming back in. Right now, they need more money. They need your energy. But see, your energy is being reserved right now for your actual true divine partner, your kingdom spouse, your life partner. The things in life that God has already ordained, you're being prepared for an actual marriage. Okay? Don't let Venus retrograde and... um. The upcoming Mercury retrograde gets you tricked out of your spot by this extremely deceptive person. Options. One is one is good. One is bad. You have more than one option. There's more than one person in your energy. But only one is aligned with your soul purpose. Both of them are part of your soul purpose. One was here to teach you <laughs> all the things not to do. But you have a new love here that's going to be very exciting that's going to take action and they're going to bring good changes to your life. Please be mindful. Somebody is trying to destroy you so that you don't go into a new connection. It's very clear. And what is happening to a divine feminine is happening to a divine masculine. Keep in mind, divine feminine could be male or female. Divine masculine could be male or female. Take it how it resonates. Flip the stories however you have to at this time. The universe has your back, though. Soul power. It says, always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Somebody keeps trying to copy your energy. You know, everyone, as of lately, has been talking about that movie. I guess they cloned Tyrone. I haven't watched it. But I'm hearing that in my head right now. I don't care how a person tries to copy or clone you. The essence of who you are, it will never change. So it doesn't matter how many times these people try to steal your energy, harvest it, siphon it, disperse it amongst them and their cults, covens, secret societies or whatever. They cannot be you. They cannot actually replicate, duplicate you. Therefore, the, and look, like I said before, just ask. Your spiritual team is saying, stand your ground, and when you need help, just ask for it. Hello from heaven. 
hello, these ancestors, ascended master spirit guys, they're like, hey, we're here. But see, a part of your lesson is learning how to ask for help. Stop thinking that you can do everything by yourself. This is not your battle. If you know even about the Leviathan spirit in the Bible that speaks of it, the Leviathan, that sea monster creature, it was created by God. You don't get rid of Leviathan unless you go through God. You have to ask God to remove their spirit from your life. So some of you, you have so much pride in your independence. You don't know how to say, God, I can't do this. Because really, it's not your battle anyway. Lord, I can't do this. Spirit guides, ancestors, I cannot do this. I cannot fight this person anymore. Call them. They're saying, do you remember how we helped you before? We're trying to show you the ancestral wisdom. May, some of you, maybe you make offerings to your ancestors. But they're saying, listen, call on us. Let go. Be hopeful. Let us let us help you. Part of your journey is learning that as a leader, you cannot do everything by yourself. If you are meant to lead many people, you're go you cannot break down because when you break down, you can't help anyone. Lean on your spiritual team that's trying to assist you. That's what some of you are missing. You cannot fight this battle. It's no longer your battle. You're not fighting against just flesh. It's a spiritual battle. And some of you, quite frankly, even as powerful as you are, you're equipped with a spiritual team to help you fight this. Soul power, memories. It says your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Your soul is remembering who you are, your power, your essence. This ancestral wisdom it's constantly coming out. It says, we are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We asked you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in this spirit world. The reading that I did earlier, like I said, you guys are freeing a, an entire bloodline. If you so much as, as speak out, cry out, fall on your knee, they're like, we got you. You freed your entire bloodline. Do you not think that they're going to show up anytime somebody wants you in this Ten of Swords energy? They're rushing, racing to go against anybody. They will knock the head off of anybody that dare comes towards you. You are the Empress. You are the Queen. You are the King. You are the one that has rightfully earned your place on this throne. And you are going to be the leader of your family, your bloodline, future generations to come. This tower has to come now for you to move forward as this earth angel that you are. But that means that anyone that's coming against your divine country, you cannot be afraid to cancel them out. Cancel them out. Sacrifice them the same way that they sacrificed you. And all you have to do is call on God and say, listen, they won't let me move into my own divine purpose. God is like, okay, let me, let me handle that. You don't have to do magic. You don't have to light candles. You don't have to do any of that. Simply let God know that you know what's going on. Because that's really what God, God is waiting to see. Do you actually know why this is happening to you? It's because of your greatness. It's because of your favor. God is like, I need for you to see yourself the way that I see you. When you see yourself how I see you, then you will actually realize that you don't have to fight this. You already paid your dues to society. So when people go in the spirit and try to play games with you, they don't know who they're up against. And your ancestors are like, you freed us. All you have, they're like, just ask. What do you, how can, literally they're like, how can we serve you? It says there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. See, trauma makes people become too independent. You all, oh, I don't want to ask for help. I'll do it by myself because you've been hurt. By the people that you trusted so many times. Listen, you may not be able to trust these people here in the earthly realm, but you have people in the spirit realm that's like, I don't care what time of day and night that you call. If you call us, it's a whole army of us that's coming to help you. Ha! <sighs> 
How do you think you've been carried this long? You haven't been doing this by yourself. Hello from heaven. Some of you have some very strong masculine energies. They're like, hello from heaven. It says your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. Something, some, something says some um, offering or something. So I don't know. Some people make, you know, offers, um, offerings to their, their ancestors. If, if that's what you do, cool. Maybe some of you want to go visit, you know, the grave site of a loved one. Whatever spirit tells you to do, do it. 